Hey guys, in my last haul video I mentioned about the fact that I was going to be doing a Project 20 whereupon I would have to read 20 books before I actually bought any more. But it was only when I was editing the video that I'd already recorded that I realised and remembered that I was going to the Edinburgh Book Festival the weekend after I'd actually filmed it. I couldn't go to a book festival and not buy any books, especially seeing as I'd had this planned for about a month in advance. But I did put a little notification up saying that I was going to postpone it until after the Edinburgh Book Festival and that has been and gone so the Project 20 shall commence now. But anyways in the meantime I'm going to show you the books that I got in and around Scotland in the secondhand bookshops, the normal bookshops and at the Edinburgh Book Festival itself. So let's get to it. First of all I've got a free book that I picked up at the book festival and that is Virago is 40 a celebration. As far as I can gather this is a collection of different different authors interpretations of the number 40 and because of the fact that it was free I decided to pick it up as who doesn't like free books. In the children's bookshop at the festival I picked up Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. Now I have been dying to pick up some Neil Gaiman for a very long time now and Jean actually suggested because she likes Neil Gaiman to pick up The Graveyard Book as a starting point and as soon as I saw this I just knew that I had to get it and I knew that in this trip I needed to pick up at least one of his books. And to be honest, I have heard some good things floating around booktube with regards to this book, so I'm really looking forward to starting this one. Lisa, who also bought this book in Scotland, actually has finished this already and she's actually told me that she really enjoyed it, so I'm expecting good things of this one. While we're in Scotland, we stayed with Nicola, who is Robotnik over on YouTube, and she was nice enough to give me a book, and that is Diamond Street by Rachel Lichtenstein. As far as I'm aware, this revolves around the history of Hatton Garden in London. Now, Hatton Garden is one of those places which has all the jewellers around it, so I presume that it's all about the secrets of that. I'm really intrigued to see what this one's about. One of the second-hand bookshops that we went into was in one of those out-of-the-way alleys, and you wouldn't have necessarily have known that it was there unless you went searching down them. And we found this really nice one. I think it was called Thistle Books, and it was filled with loads of music manuscripts and pretty much triple stacked books which was absolutely wonderful to see so many books in one place and I decided to pick up Going Postal by Terry Pratchett. Now I love 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 Terry Pratchett and his books and I'm starting to actually read all of his books from the beginning in order but I decided to pick up Going Postal because a little while ago I saw the TV adaptation of this book and it was absolutely wonderful and it was so funny. I'm really excited to start this book as generally I find the books to be better than TV or movies. We went into the works and I picked up Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters. Now I've been dying to pick up something like this for ages. I've always had my eye on Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, even though I didn't particularly like Pride and Prejudice as I haven't honestly finished it, but I really ought to do that soon. But Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is where I wanted to start, but as soon as I saw this in the works for a pound, I could not pass it up. I mean, it's cheap as, seriously, and I'm really looking forward to reading this, although I'm not quite sure if I should have read Sense and Sensibility first before even attempting to start this. And for something a little different, we went into Waterstones and I picked up Mess by Kerry Smith. Now, this is the same author as the Wreck This Journal, and I really love anything to do with these, even though I kind of have phases with these types of books. Basically, what you need to do is create a mess in here, and it gives you lots of different things that you can do. For example, get a hammer, take a drawing device such as a piece of chalk, charcoal, crayon, pencil, etc, smash, repeat. So you do what it says on the different pages on the pages and it's things like that and leave it out in the rain, bury it in the dirt. It's things to basically bring out your creativity and not make you stay within the boundaries and just think outside the box generally. But as I was saying, I tend to have phases with these types of things. I tend to get really excited about them, do them for a week and then forget about them but I really hope that I can spend more than a week on this book and hopefully go back to wreck this journal as well while I'm at it just as a matter of curiosity would would you guys be interested in seeing me do a video of like wreck this journal and this mess book as well um as I'm not quite sure whether it's something that 
you guys will be interested in or not. That is the last book that I've bought. No little notifications are going to come up saying I'm going to postpone this. No excuses from now on. It's just going to be read, read, read. I will speak to you in my next video. See you later guys.